My name is Captain Doug of Tearing Them Up Fishing Charters in sunny Sarasota, Florida. This is my new show where we'll be going over the finer points of fishing in Sarasota Bay and the nearshore artificial reefs that Sarasota is so well known for. The main thing I like to do before I start is I like to check out the weather, the moon, and the tide. The tide being, to me, the most important. Obviously the weather is important, but I want to see the flow of water. That flow of water is key to catching all fish, especially red fish. Once that tide goes slack and it's peeking out either at the top or the bottom, there's a little lull in there, uh, you know, wildlife-wise, but for the most part, you want to get them on the incoming tide. That seems to be the best. So we're heading back into this little area that I like to fish. Deep water, you know, for the bay, 10, 12 foot. By the docks, it's about eight foot. We've had a lot of luck back in these areas. You know, fishing on the mangroves is good, but I think that since we have all these houses here, and all the available barnacles and stuff growing on these dock posts that the docks are good for catching fish. You know, you want to be respectful of people's property. You don't want to be throwing your hooks up on their docks. If you do, you don't want to take them down, get them off there, you know, to be respectful. And if anyone ever complains, I don't argue with them. I just leave because I am fishing in their backyard, you know. But that being said, I got my biggest redfish behind someone's dock, 46 inch redfish caught on someone's dock. So, we'll be back. So we're starting out with a nice big shrimp. And I really like these Eagle Claw bait keeper hooks. They're awesome. I like to put this hook in. Can you see that? Right about here. This kind of keeps them alive a little bit longer. I do put it through the tail sometimes. We'll try that out too. Miss Jessica's gonna whip that dog out on her dock. Some of these are like shrimpzilla size. See, all of a sudden I got just a hook shows up out of nowhere. So let's see, let's take a look at this again. Let's try this one again. I bite the tail off. I run that baby up. Those little barbs on that hook will keep that shrimp on there. You see, you have a perfect little, the barb looks like a foot. Take it away, Jessica. I'm glad y'all are watching the show. I appreciate it. Um, just trying to be creative and do different kind of things, keep people informed of what's going on. I realize you can't fish with me every day, but you can be with me every day. And if you like these videos, click like at the bottom. Yeah, please. It'll help me out. It'll help you out. We're going to be doing shore lunches now. We got the new shore lunch package going out there, the ultimate fishing package. Everything included, drinks, food. Man, uh, what you want? We got it. Anyway, back to the show. <laughs> 